Just when I think I've seen it all. He gonna be okay. Physically, yes. <sighs> Where's Francine? Where, where is she? She's dead, Kirk. No. She can't be. I, I just... What have I done? The serum. It changed you. You lost control. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Gotham ain't going down yet, Batman. Thanks to you. Tape 25, October 30th. Got my hands on this forensic report. Human sacrifice. It's real. They're really happening. The deceased M. Holland. Located in the abandoned premises, front-facing room to Hammond Close. Male, 33 years, approximately 6 feet, 210 pounds, brown hair. Found lying face up on a table central to the room. Contusions on the wrist and ankle, indicating the victim was restrained with a thick cord or rope. The neck has been cut, deep incision severing the esophagus and main arteries. The body appears to have been drained of blood. The victim is naked. Clothes have been burned as well as personal effects. The fools in here actually think you're winning. Deluded, Batman. They must get it from you. What, you've got nothing to say? How about an apology? Thanks, Batman. I didn't think we were gonna make it back there. I'm heading to GCPD to investigate the transmission sent on a SWAT channel from within the city. Fingers crossed, sir. It sheds some light on Scarecrow's whereabouts. Let me tell you a secret. You haven't seen the last of him. He's gonna find you, and when he does, he's gonna rip out your heart. Tell me about this broadcast. Wish I could, sir, but it's on a SWAT channel. Encrypted. Those boys really don't like anyone listening in. I'm in. Will you read me? It's Jim. I need you to send through some blueprints. I found Crane. And that bastard's going to die for what he did to my little girl. Was that the commissioner? What's he doing? Getting himself killed. But I've got the ID number of the radio he's using, and that means I can track him. I've decoded a radio transmission. It's Gordon. He's alive! I need you to isolate the radio's frequency and pinpoint its location. Of course, sir. The transmission appears to have originated from an abandoned shopping mall. The building has been without power for some time, sir. You may well encounter some obstacles. The remote electrical charge prototype is being held in the GCPD evidence room. That should help. Very well, sir. I'm sure Officer Cash will understand. Machine gun haphazardly duct taped to a grenade 
dislodge it, and one good old-fashioned baseball bat, all used by Dr. Harley Quinzel, a.k.a. One vial of unknown chemical substance and one vampire bat, owned by Kirk Langstrom, a.k.a. What are we going to call this guy? Batman's already taken. I guess this guy's more of a man bat anyway. Oh, there you are. Look, it's my stuff. So this is my memorial, huh? Uh, not even a statue. They think they can just file me away, don't they? I've been sent back for a reason, Bruce, and no one's forgetting me this time around. One pair of shock gloves, worn by the electrocutioner, a.k.a. Lester Buczynski. One mask and jacket worn by Anarchy, a.k.a. Lonnie Machen. I wasn't even a cop when this kid tried to hit Gotham. No one's seen him since. No one knows where they're keeping him. I guess the government don't like anarchists too much. Okay, now I can go after Jim. Very subtle. I know this is the evidence room, Bruce, but you could have tried to cover your tracks. The alarm's been tripped at the Bank of Gotham Dresher branch. Two Faces crew are trying their luck, sir. Don't look at me. in here actually think you're winning. Deluded, Batman. They must get it from you. You'll find him. I know it. Good luck out there, Batman.
never. Gotham burns, then you burn with it. Gotham will burn. You not extinguish me again. him up. <laughs> no! Yeah, man. On your feet, Linz. You will burn for this. All of you! Been wanting to add this to the collection for a while. Keep kicking ass out there, Batman. Ah, third degree burns. The cracked, leathery skin. That delightful waxy sheen. If I had to choose, I think burns would probably be my favorite scar tissue. Well, burns and mental scars. Right, Bruce? <laughs>